Hi guys, this is Deb. Um, this is an update to the video I did yesterday on the winnings from Michelle Perry of Little Crafts Creations. Um, what I didn't realize is that she had all these little envelopes in a baggie and I thought the envelopes were just the die cut winnings, but then she mentioned that each baggie, each little envelope has goodies in it. So I'm going to show you what the goodies are. Because I didn't realize that, and I'm so sorry, Michelle. This first one has tags. They're tiny tags, but they're cute. And they can be used, you know, on lots of different things. So, yeah, I love those. You can stamp words on them or pictures or whatever. So, and there's lots of them in there. That's the first envelope. And she closed them all with these cute tie-dye stickers. I have seen those before, I think, at the Dollar Tree. I think I have some, actually. And then some butterflies, um, big ones and little, little ones like that. And let's see, oh my goodness, lots of butterflies. So yeah, there's lots of them there. Can make them, uh, oh, medium-sized ones too. I can actually then make them uh, multi-dimensional, I think. So thank you for that. You know I love my butterflies. Um, so yeah, and then this one, I like how you did these envelopes too, Michelle, has more um, like flourish type things, lots of those, all in black, what a cute idea this is, you know, these, these would have been just plenty, oh my goodness, and the next one is a red envelope. And let's see. Oops, sorry. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Little mice. Oh, those are so cute. I have a um, kitty cat, and you can have them chase the mice. That is so adorable. Or oh, the mouse ran up the clock, right? Some kind of theme. So cute. As long as they're not real, they're real cute. <laughs> I'm not a big rodent fan. Oh, I like squirrels, but and chipmunks. Chipmunks are my favorite, probably. But uh, it's okay. In uh, they're cute in pictures, huh? And then oh, upside down the telephone, the old-fashioned telephones. So lots of those. Very, very cool. They would go good on like a mixed media, um, steampunky kind of project, which I'm just getting into mixed media. The first piece I did was a altered puzzle piece in that, and I like doing it. I don't know if I'd decorate my home with it, but I like doing it. Now let's see, oh, these are little baby bears, bear cubs, so cute, lots of those. And this light lavender envelope. Oh, it has the squirrels. <laughs> These are cute dyes. Oh, and look. Oh my goodness. Little teeny tiny mice. Oh, they're cute. Those are cute. That's because my mouse is probably smaller than that other one. Look at these little tiny mice. They're so cute. Alright. So many cute things. You just went way overboard, Michelle. Really. All right, let's see. And um, I don't know if I already opened this. More telephones. Can't remember if that's the same one. Can I put it down the wrong spot? Let me see. Nope, it's more. Okay. And then another red envelope. And it has. Okay, here oops, bunnies. Oh, look how cute. These are so cute. And they're in different sizes. Let me show you a bigger one. There's a big one. <laughs> and sort of a medium one. And then there's also some black um, hang on, 
black ovals and circles and things. Ovals, I think, mostly. And there's different sizes of those, too. She's got some medium ones. Hello, kitty cat. See the bunnies in two sizes. Okay, let me try and get these back in. I don't want to break their ears, for sure. Oh, my goodness. We have cute dyes. I want to do a video soon on all my dyes and... Um, to show you what they come out like because there's some I haven't tried yet that I have bought and someone asked me that and the ones I've used so far all have worked fine the intricate ones are a little harder to get the pieces out but okay let me see what we have here okay not sure I'll be using these too much I'm not a big insect person except for butterflies and dragonflies but yeah, maybe for Halloween <laughs> I don't know. They're a little spooky, but they're in two two different sizes as well. Yeah. And ladybugs I like too. Just not in swarms all at once. Um, okay, and the next envelope is see there's lots of envelopes here. Oh, little foxes. Or kitties, I guess they could be. The foxes, based on the tail. Ooh, lots of them. Very cute. Mm. Love those. Love, love. And two more envelopes, guys. These are more, um... I guess they're like speech bubbles. Yeah, because they got that little goofy thing down at the bottom here. Okay. And last envelope. Ooh. Let's see what we have here. We've got some lamps. Those are cool. And some award ribbons. And it's like two sizes of those. Those are really cool. There's lots of them. And there's some in pink. And then there's bigger ones in like the uh, tan or craft color. And there's something else peeking out in there. Oh, another lamp. Okay. Uh, two more lamps, I think. Oh, come on out. That's the high. Yep. Two more lamps. Those are really cool. Okay, guys, so that is it. She gave me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven envelopes stuffed to the brim with die cuts. So, you know, that's, these are actually a good little way to file them. Um, so, I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to store all these because. Um, and, and some other ones I have that I made or that other people gifted to me also because I don't know how to store them so I can see them and remember I have them to use them um, so any suggestions on that would be appreciated and I do watch videos on craft storage rooms but um, I can't remember how they store pre-cut dye pieces so anyway guys thanks for watching um, Michelle, thank you so much again, and I'm sorry I missed that in the first video, but I wanted to do you justice. So, um, there you go. Um, that's everything now that I've gotten from Michelle, and I'm going to, instead of trying to tack this onto the original video, I'll just number it the same number with an A behind it and call it an update. So, thanks again, Michelle, and thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.